They're lurking in the woods. Ooh, ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Man of Man, and today we've got a juicer for you. We've got the Lupine Harbringers, and we are howling to the moon, baby. This is a very fun part. It's got Trample Haste, and it enters the battlefield with X-1-1 counters on it, where X is the number of turns you've begun since it was foretold. Now, that gets interesting. So basically, you foretell it on turn two, for two, and then it's just gonna be accruing value over and over and over. And I kinda like this card because most of the time, when you like Uvenvald Oddity, you're just gonna be able to cast it for the Trample Haste. That's mostly what you're gonna be doing. Now, sometimes you can transform the Uvenvald Oddity into the Behemoth, but it does cost seven, and it is kind of pricier. So, and a lot of times it's prone to spot removal. And don't get me wrong, the Oddity is a great card, but I think there are gonna be a lot of situations where like the Harbringers, you're gonna be wanting that. And plus the worst case scenario is that it's just a, it, it's still just a 4-4 Trample Haste for four anyway. So most of the time it's gonna be equal and there's gonna be some times where it's better. So we're gonna be, we're actually gonna have them both because they're both amazing. And this is just gonna be an all out aggro stomp deck. So obviously we just got Blizzard Brawl, Blightblade, Tenacious Pup, the Pack Leader, you need the Pack Leader, Capit Tech Wrecker. I, this, is, this is a cool little card here. It's the Tech Wrecker, and it is uh, a little tech that I like to put into our, our deck here. Because it's never really dead. It does have Death Touch, so it can take out creatures, and then it can also get rid of enchantments and um, artifacts. So it's never really dead. It's always a nice little card. And it has Ninjutsu, kind of sneaky, really good card. I, I absolutely love this thing. Inscription of Abundance can just come in handy. Obviously, the kicker ability makes it a lot more relevant, but it can still just be like, you know, a plus two, plus two. The counters can be relevant. Jukai Liberator is one of the best green cards I can't say ever printed because this is alchemy and it was never technically printed on paper. So, but Jukai Liberator, absolutely insane. Old Growth Troll, we know what Old Growth Troll does, but this is pretty much the deck. It's just going to be a snow green beatdown deck and I, I can't wait to jump in. But before we get into the gameplay, make sure to leave a like. The button looks just like this. It helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe if you have not already, and without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. The Duffman, how are we going? Isn't Duff like uh, the Simpsons? Isn't that like the, what the beer is called? I, I've seen enough Simpsons. I don't, I'm not a ton of Simpsons, so I think that's what it is. Duff, right? Inchblade Companion, I love this card. I absolutely adore the Inchblade Companion. That is one, oh my god, this card is so sick. Oh my gosh. I kind of, I haven't made a deck with this in like, probably a hot second, just because obviously New Capenna, you want to kind of dabble in more into standard, but, you know, the Inchblade Companion is so awesome. Love this card. So we have a Tenacious Pup. It kind of depends what we'll be doing on turn two. We can either foretell the Harbringers. Yeah, we'll definitely probably be foretelling the Harbringers then, because... Um, yeah, we could go for ninjutsu on the Liberator. If our puppy dog was still here, but... I think uh, our little tenacious pup went to the pound. So... I think we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and foretell the Harbringers. Foretell the Harbringers. Maybe, you know, we'll save the Harbringers for a rainy day. We'll save it for a rainy day. So Adeline is, a, is annoying. Adeline is most certainly annoying. I think what we do now... We can drop the cap at Tech Wrecker, and then we can Blizzard Brawl this Adeline. I think that's what we're gonna do. So this is gonna be a 2-4. Not that it really matters, we're kinda just really want it for the Death Touch. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Blizzard Brawl. Yeah, I think we just kinda have to. We gotta get rid of this Adeline. We just get rid of it, we don't have to worry about it anymore, and we still have a cap at Tech Wrecker. 2-4 with Death Touch, so... I think that's a pretty good move there. And again, slowly over time, this Lupine Harbringers is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe it works out for us. Skyclave Apparition. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. I I think Skyclave Apparition is better than Brutal Cathar in like most of the time. So I would always prefer a Brutal Cathar. Usually. Again, I'm talking in generalities, but you get what I'm saying. So let's drop the pup. Hopefully they don't have another apparition because that would just be so bloody annoying. But we're gonna drop the Liberator. And now the Liberator has trample. So if the Liberator can trample through, we do get another uh we can, well, we can seek a land or a non-land. So let's see, I just I mean just no removal, I guess, but that's kinda asking for a lot, isn't it? So let's see, we got the Sword of the Realms. That's a that's an interesting card here. Okay. Um Okay. Well, we do have enough mana for the Lupine Harbringers at this point, so I think what I'm going to do is attacking with the Liberator. We might as well. It has Trample and Vigilance, and they just take it. 
They just take it. That's kind of crazy to me. Let's go ahead and take a non land and we get another Harbingers. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Do we want do we want to just play this down now or do we want to foretell this thing? Because we do have we do have the mana sources for it. I think mm, so we, we can't really swing in. So I think it's kind of not the best to play it now. I'm actually going to foretell this. That might be a little weird. That might be a little weird. But I kind of like that move. Hopefully we can always we can always like kind of get something else here too. Now we got a Toski. Now we get a Toski. Oh baby, can you feel it? We've got so many Harbringers. Oh, they're lurking in the woods. Ooh. Let's go, baby. I'm getting excited. Let's go ahead and drop this Harbringers. Oh baby, let's drop the Thunder, baby. Four eight. Oh baby, let's go ahead and swing in here. So that's an eight eight with Trample and Haste, and we have another one in the chamber as well. So we're gonna get two to your face. Eight with the Harbringers, and then the Liberator, before it dies, will be able to go off as well. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, let's take a non-land. We, no we have all the land in the world. I mean, I shouldn't say all in the world, but six is plenty. Plenty. So another Apparition. They're going to be able to take away our Harbringers, which is really annoying. But we've got another one. We've got another one. Whatever. Whatever. Um... I think we probably just drop the pack leader and then an old growth troll. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to swing with this. Just this. They could double block. They could um, chump block. They could do whatever they want. We can swing with the 2-2. Two -two. Then we're going to drop the old growth troll. And then the next turn, we're going to set up for this juicy Harbringers number two. And that's just probably going to be it. I, I don't think they're going to be able to take that in. So bang, bang. And I think we'll just drop the old growth troll rather than the Toski. I think we've got enough advantage. Um, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see how that plays out. But like, this will be what a seven-seven with trample haste. Pretty gosh darn good. So the Duff Man, what's you gonna do? You, you might need a drink after I'm done with you here. You really might. So Luminarch Aspirant. Okay, that doesn't do anything until the end step of this turn because this is alchemy, of course. They're going to put the Sword of the Realms on the Skyclave Apparition. It's got Vigilance now. And they're just going to end the turn. Wow. So we're going to put it on the Aspirant. We have another Old Girl Troll. Should we drop it on him? I think we should. Harbringers number two, baby. The pack is out to play, and we are hungry. Oh my goodness. I'm going to swing all. I'm swinging all, and that takes it. How absolutely sick. Giambo, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. This is pretty good here. This is pretty good. We do have a Werewolf Pack later, but I don't know. I mean, at some point, we do kind of want to see what the Harbringers can do with the Fortel. I guess it kind of depends what we're playing against. If we're playing like an Anvil type of deck, they have like, a lot of weenies. You really want to be able to get a nice big Harbringer down. Mm, okay, I think we can just drop the Pack later. This is not a good trade, so we're not even going to swing here. I think we drop the pack leader, and if we don't draw anything else next turn, we can foretell the Harbringer. And then we can actually just hard cast the, one, the other Harbringer on turn four. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool here. Let's see. So, green. Let's see what you got here for us. Oh, okay. So, we're going to have to try to remove this, because this thing's going to get huge. This thing is going to get huge, huge. So we have Blizzard Brawl and we have an Inscription of Abundance to try and get rid of this Moon Dancer. Because this thing is going to get huge and it's going to get nasty here quick. So we actually do get the Blizzard Brawl. Wow, that is actually pretty gosh darn lucky. So this actually curves out pretty nice. I'm going to take the Lupine Harbringers. We're actually going to foretell this. So we foretell that. And then I'm going to take the Blizzard Brawl, not the, not the Pack Leader. We're going to take the, the Blight Blade so that we can swing in with both. So let's go ahead and do that. We kill the Moon Dancer, get rid of you, and then we can swing with both. We don't have the six power for the pack leader, but it's okay. It's okay. They can't block with us, so. Yeah, because if we used it on the pack leader, we wouldn't have been able to swing with Blight Blade. I mean, it's, I guess it's the same damage either way, but then if they chumped, very, very minor, but I, you know, it could, it could pay off in the long run. So we take him down to 16. And now this thing's going to be accruing value. I really I really hope we can make use of this thing, because I don't know. I mean, I feel like most of the time, the Harbringers is just like a, maybe a better type of Uvenvald Oddity. So up to 2-2, two, two, this thing's kind of the same thing as the Trilla Dancer. This is a nifty little, um, nifty little deck here. Just going to be some life gain, create some really big things. 
So let's see what we can do about this. We're going to be able to draw a card next turn with the pack later after we draw this Harbringers. So I think we're still sitting pretty decent. Can't really complain about our board state right now. And they're going to swing in. Wow. This have, no, this, is, this doesn't even have lifelink, so that's a little strange to me. But okay, be that as it may. Let's go ahead and drop this Harbringers down. We're not foretelling this one. We want to swing in, baby. I'm going to swing with everything. They don't have any good blocks here. If they trade with this, this thing is done getting big. And we take them down to nine. Here's the thing that I'm a little scared of. We can handle the, them with the Blizzard Brawl up until five. So, oh, Voice of the Blessed. See, now they've got two of these things that are going to get bigger and bigger. That is a little nerve-wracking. So, three threes. Okay, that is... You got my attention now. You definitely have my attention. Let's go ahead and place down the, the Lair of the Hydra. Um, do we want a Blizzard Brawl? I think we do. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to Blizzard Brawl. So, let's go ahead and Blizzard Brawl with the pack leader, I suppose, on the Voice of the Blessed. Because I think this has a little bit more upside. So, we'll do that. Okay. And then we might as well just swing all, right? I know... I know this can be blocked out by the Veteran, which is typically not the best trade-off, but we do have an Uvenvald Oddity, which is usually kind of like the Harbringers here. The Harbringers is going to be really... If we can cast this next turn, if we draw into a land, right? We take them down to one, which is fine. Let's drop another Werewolf Pack Leader. If we just get one more land, they're not going to be able to have... They can get as big as they want. They are not going to be able to have something as big as the Lupine Harbringers. Come on, baby. We, we, I don't know. Let's go, baby. We got the Lupine Heartbringers. I want to get this thing out. I don't know if we'll be able to make use of it. They might just... Okay, I was going to say. There's a possibility they just scoop. And we get that old growth troll. That is not going to be enough. That's so unfortunate because I think we're I think we're good to just win here. So we actually don't even have to use it, which would be really... I, want, I really wanted to end the, the Lupine Heartbringers, which is unfortunate. Um... Okay, we'll just drop the oddity, and I think this should be, like, close to game. I mean, I, I, maybe, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. I haven't even done the mental math. We do get another land here. I guess they could just block, block, block. These two have trample, though, so I think they're out of luck, right? So these trade. Yeah, they're just done. Yeah, I mean... I. <laughs> that's gonna be it. I really wanted those Harbringers out, but it is what it is. Desiris, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this pretty good hand here. We do actually have a little Toski. I absolutely adore Toski, and I adore when people say hello because we love reciprocating that friendliness back. So they, oh, is that two hellos? Okay, I'll fine, fine. I'll give you two hellos. No big deal with me. Two hellos from the opponent. Two nice little Tamio hellos. We also have the scary Tamio, but we we don't we don't we don't put that out there. So okay, I'm wondering what we got going on up here. What's up with that? Either way, we're going to be able to swing in here, and we're, we're just doing some damage here early. We're going to use the Jukai Liberator. We're going to cheat the Liberator out, and then we can just drop the Blight Blade on top. I mean, it's, this gets gross. This just gets gross. And I think we're going to drop the Pup. They don't really have anything for the Blight Blade, so I think we'll go ahead and do this. And I'm not really sure what this is, but they're going to be really disappointed if we drop this Toski, and this is a counter spell, because Toski can't be countered. Can't be countered. Pretty gosh darn good, right? So, yeah, th this can't be a Doom Scar because they don't even have enough white. So, this is blue. Okay. So, it's just a Demir. Demir type of something. Okay. I gotta say, that we're, we're looking very pretty here. I don't even know what this could be. They're not gonna be able. Let's just go ahead and drop the Toski before we swing in. And then we can just start drawing cards with the Toski. So, let's go ahead and drop the Toski. It's gonna become up a little buff because of the Tenacious Pup. And again, they can't counter it. So no matter what, they can't counter this. We're just swing in here. And then, oh, this is going to get nasty. This is disgusting. We're going to swing in here. And uh, the liver, we got, a, we got a card from, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, it's not over yet. They still have one more turn, but I mean, I don't see how they're going to get out of this. Um, So we draw a card from the pack later. We get this. We draw a bunch of cards from the Toski. And then we get to seek from the Liberator. I mean, holy. Holy Moses, we're going to take non-land, and we actually have to discard a card, which is kind of hilarious. I guess we'll just discard, um, I guess we'll just discard a forest. Sure, we've got enough land here. We're going to drop this Uvenvold Oddity with, with Trample, unless they can get rid of the entire board this turn. I mean, that is literally going to be it. 
And Toski also is indestructible. Oh my goodness. We just dropped the we just dropped the Uvenvald Oddity along with the Toski, even if they did have a Doom Scar. And I don't think this Tefira is gonna save him. I don't think so. Don't worry. I face scarier villains. I'm not a villain. What whoa, 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 whoa. It's Tefiri, Tefiri, what is up with that, man? I am not a villain. Don't worry. I'm the hero. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, exactly. The villain always loses in the end. Glow pack, how is it going? Let's go ahead and keep this pretty good hand here. We do have our lovely Harbringers here. I want to see if we can make use of this thing. I mean, I feel like most of the time, you're going to be wanting to use this over the um, Uvenvald Oddity. Just kind of, I don't know, I just feel like it has a little bit more utility a late game, but I think right now we're not going to want to foretell. We're just going to want to drop our lovely pack leader. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We actually have, this is like a really, really good hand, actually. We, have, we get to curve into Old Growth Troll. And again, most of the time, Uvenvold Oddity's um, transform ability is not that relevant. So I think we might be better off going with the Harbringers here. So we can do something kind of funky here. I mean, we, we, we do kind of want to show off the Harbringers, but we could just hard cast it for four. Or we could drop the Old Growth Troll. There's a lot of things we could do here. We could Blizzard Brawl here. Hmm, I'm, I'm just going to swing in. There's so many different things we can do. We can foretell the Harbringers. We could foretell the Harbringers and then use Blizzard Brawl. We could we could have went with the Ninjutsu and then the Blizzard Brawl, but I think we're just going to drop the good old, good old, old growth troll. So let's go ahead and do that. And a little on the right here. So two Lotus Cobra. Okie dokie. Two Lotus Cobra. So now they're going to be able to have two landfall triggers. Okay, that's fine. Depending on what they got here. We do, we are obviously still sitting on a blizzard brawl. So a Jukai Liberator. Hey, we'll give, them, we'll give them a nice. We'll give them a nice. They know that Jukai Liberator is one of the best green cards, like, ever. I can't say printed because it's not a real card. Because this is alchemy. But let's go ahead and drop this. And I think we're just going to swing in. We kind of want to get the draw ability. We could also go for the Harbringers. I think we are. Instead of foretelling it, let's go ahead and just drop it. Boom, sure. And that is a lot of firepower. I know that the, we allow them to have the Jukai Liberator swing in and then they could go ahead and uh, get use that. So there's a lot of downside on the back end here, but they're just gonna trade. Wow. So they're just gonna actually trade that. That is pretty good for us, pretty good. Obviously we're very, very aggressive here. And we have to be a little careful because these Lotus Cobra can ramp up into something like really big, but we do have the Blizzard Brawl here. What I'm really nervous about is like a Titan of Industry. If they drop a Titan of Industry, that is going to be very, very bad. So I actually grab some red here. I wonder what they need the red for. What you need that red for here? Glow Pack. Making me a little bit nervous here. So we do have a lot. A Phylap. Okay, Phylap is actually not the end of the world. It's still pretty gosh darn good. This is the alchemy buff, so they do get... I forgot what the old version does. It kind of... The name escapes me right at the moment. But we're still going to be able to Blizzard Brawl this thing, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and do that right now. They are tapped out, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. And we do... We do have Trample here. So, obviously, we're going to swing in. And they're going to have to at least chump lock one of these things. We don't have Lethal... We don't have lethal, but they're not looking so pretty here. So let's go ahead and do the damage here. We'll take them down to one. One measly life. Just drop the old girl troll. This is what green wants to do. This is what green does. It just beats your face in pretty quickly. Now, hopefully, Titan of Industry. Yeah, so here's a floor slow cultivator. We have plenty of experience with this card. This card is really good. I love this card a lot. So they're going to use it with Lotus Cobra. That's a, that's a cute little, that's a huge little trick you got there. They are up to four, four mana sources here. So let's see what they do here. We do have 12 power with Trample. So if they can't get rid of this, that is going to take it stompy to stompy. Gene 1991, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. So yeah, we, keep, we got a Heartbringers here. Yeah, I think we're sitting beautifully. Let's drop this Blight the Blade. And Death Touch is very, very good. I think, man, this Death Touch in an aggro type of format, pretty gosh darn good. Let's see, a Valdera a Stinger. I think I have spent a hot second since I've seen this card. First strike as long as it's attacking. Okay. Um, a lot of times you're gonna wanna foretell the Harbringers on turn two, but the only time you don't want to is if you have a Werewolf Pack Leader and that's, we 
to have that both times so far, so pack leader is wonderful. Whoa, what the heck is this? Dude, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen this card in a long time. So the spell costs one less if you kill it and troll a vampire, deals one damage, and then you draw a card. That's actually pretty good. That actually ended up being very, very efficient for them. So I think let's just try, yeah. Let's just drop the old girl troll, swing on in here. 17 to 19. Yeah, I think we're sitting okay. It will be able to use the old girl troll and world pack leader to draw a card next turn, so that's always nice. Harvester. Okay, the harvester is problematic because they can trade with the, the pack leader here. But again, I think a lot of times we're gonna we're just gonna want to just cast this as is. So yeah, the pack leader will trade, but I think it's okay. I think I'm just gonna hard cast this. Let's drop the harbringers. And let's swing in. We'll be able to get a draw a card from the pack leader before they trade with the harvester. Another blight blade, okie dokie. They could actually double block with the stinger, but I don't think that they, well, that really wouldn't make any sense. Excuse me. So unfortunately, at least we get rid of their harvester. They're gonna take what eight damage here. I mean, that's nothing to scoff at either. So they actually get rid. Whoa, 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 whoa! They get rid of a of a predator why the predator is like so good the predator is actually really really good against us so i'm not really sure why they did that um be that as it may we're gonna go ahead and just blizzard brawl we're just gonna go right through you i know you got death touch but we have indestructible we're just blowing right past you you almost feel bad they give us a good game well it's not a good game yet it's not a good game yet but <laughs> not yet this might be a good game this might make them scoop but we have another old growth chill um yeah, I'm trying to think of any card in the game I, under these colors. I don't think so. So, back hungry or hungry for more. That's a cute little card. You're going to swing in here. Um we'll just let it go. I don't I don't I don't know what they got going on. If they want to deal damage to us or something, we're just going to say whatever. We're going to say whatever. I know they get a little bit of life link. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to put my growth uh, old growth troll in harm's way. And that's gonna be it. Okay, easy as, baby. So we're back here at Man on Man or with our post game review. And overall, this card, this deck was absolutely a blast to play with. I know uh, it's kind of a shorter video today. It is what it is, guys. I have things to do in my life, but you know, it is what it is. I'm glad I could at least still get a video out. This video also is coming out later in the day, so I apologize for that. But it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying out here, baby. It is a grind to put out these videos every single day and manage. Um, you know, you're in real life stuff. I'm not gonna give you the blues or anything, but I do appreciate all the engagement I get. It's, um, you know, it makes it makes the grind worth it. So I appreciate all you guys. This deck was fun. Give it a try. And that's pretty much all I got for you. Man to man, out.